Hello and welcome to my channel. So what I have here is the Chestnut Air. Before I made a, a review of the Chestnut Evo, you can check that out in my other video. So here, we'll be looking at different aspects of this board and how it integrates well with the pieces and the actual app that we are using with this board. Let's check it out. I have already connected the board to the app and to turn it on you basically just hold and press the power button until the green light shows up and it should connect via Bluetooth through your uh, phone. So unlike the Chestnut Evo, we need an actual phone and a Bluetooth connection to pair with the smartphone and you will download the Chestnut Evo app. So let's have a look at this app. So as you can see in this app, we have play, game, online, and study. Here you can scroll through and see your recent records. Now if I click on this hamburger icon on the top left, we can edit our profile. You'll need an account. Um, you'll need a, you, you can check out my chess game, connect accounts and about us. That's not really important. So uh, let's just dive right in and check out how we play a game with this board connected. So um, here on the top right, you will see uh, the Bluetooth icon. So this shows that the Chestnut Air is connected. As you can see, we have the firmware, LED lights. This board does have LEDs. And it's not as good as the Chestnut Evo, but let's have a look at it. Um, we have the Chestnut Air and the beep on. So if you wanna hear any sound or audio as you play, this will beep. The board has a small little um, audio uh, speaker inside. Okay, back to the app. And now let's check out play game. So if I click on play game, we can see you can play against the computer and we have a standard variant or 960 square, a random white black. We can, uh, um, we can toggle our difficulty right here. I'm not a pro, but we can see how it is. Um, we have real time, unlimited time, time controls. So let's start a game. So now the board is connected and this is the app. And I'm going to show you a, a sample of a game that I will play with this board. So I already have this board set up. I'm white, I'm playing against black. And let's check out this interface. So here we have the option of playing against the computer. I'll just click on play game. We're playing against the computer. I'm playing standard. I'll play white. And we can adjust our levels. We play real time. We can adjust uh, our timings. And let's start again. So all I have to do is just pick up and move a piece. And you can see now that the computer wants me to move this piece. You'll see that the LED lights show up here. Unlike the Chestnut Evo, we're unable to change the color and we'll have the issue of perhaps um, not being able to see the piece that we'd have to move because the LED lights do kind of hide behind the pieces if you're looking, looking at a certain angle. So yeah. Um, it's quite a small board, not as heavy as the Chestnut Evo. It's light and it's quite, it's quite good. I've been using it for over a year now. It's older than the Chestnut Evo. Um, the pieces are kind of cheaper than, look cheap, more cheap than the um, Chestnut Evo. So now you can see that the, the um, thing is in check. Now it's telling me to move this piece and you can hear a light beep once the opponent's in check. So this will also beep if you're playing over the board with an opponent. It'll guide you through the game and uh, help you avoid any illegal moves. So I'm just going to show you the board over a different angle. Okay, so now I hope you can see that the LED light is here and it's telling me to move this piece over here. 
So uh, the older boards are quite uh, pressure sensitive. These, this board is auto sensory and underneath each piece there is an RFID chip as well just like the Chestnut Evo all of the Chestnut boards have RFID chips in, inserted into their pieces so this tells the board what piece is what and on the board you have a USB-C slot right there you can charge it through USB-A to USB-C you can also use a fast charger, such as a Samsung charger. I did ask Chestnut and they said that it works, so there is no issue with that. This is the speaker. And here you can, I think with this plus symbol, this allows you to uh, adjust the volume. Let's say if you don't want any audio, I think you can click that. I'm not really sure, you may correct me if I'm wrong. And this is the power, um, power button. So all you have to do is just hold it and it will turn off and on. This is the um, Bluetooth indicator right here, power, power um, LED and the status. Now it's not connected. If you do leave it idle, it will automatically disconnect and shut off. Well, not shut off, but disconnect from your phone. So to turn it off, all you have to do is just hold the power button and it will turn off. There we go. Now, if you want to get some additional accessories, you can do so through the Chestnut um, website. And you can buy additional pieces like the ones I have here. These are the same. Let's say if you lose any piece, you can buy a replacement. You can buy a whole box of black pieces or white pieces that do come separately. So, there we are. So these pieces are the same as these. If you have more than one board, you can also um, use these pieces with the Chestnut Evo. I did mention that in my previous video. So you are able to uh, use this, these pieces any way you want. Let's say if you don't want to use the app, you can also just use this as a standalone chessboard. It's really great. And it does come with a carry bag that is sold separately. This is a compartment for your pieces. You can in insert any wires such as a USB-C cable I'm not really sure what this uh, uh, this pocket is for and looking inside you, ins you insert the chessboard here it has comes with a strap inside as well so you can lock it securely if you want to insert any documentations here you can do so and it has a strap so that wraps up this board. I do have to put the pieces back. So um, this board is really great for anyone really. Uh, children, adults, any chess enthusiasts who would love to play a game of chess. Even solo players as well. Um, this is a great board, I would recommend it. It's lighter than the Chestnut Evo. It doesn't have a screen. You do have to pair it with a smartphone or else it's just a useless board. But you, if you don't want to connect it, I wouldn't say you have to connect it to any app. You could just use it as a standalone chessboard and it's really a great board as well, just as, as it is. Um, you do have uh, various options in the app. It's not as sophisticated as the Chestnut Evo. You can't install any additional APKs because the app is running through an Android system, which is your tablet or phone. And you can't install, so therefore you can't install any additional chess um, apps. There are, with the Chestnut engines that are, is already pre-installed with the Chestnut Evo, this does, this does not come with any additional engines. You are limited to the chess.com, um, chess.com website and the Lee Chess website as well. So it's not really as customizable as the Chestnut Evo, but it's still a decent board for any chess enthusiast or anyone who loves playing chess. And this board is quite light. The Chestnut Evo is, I would say, is quite heavy. And it's made out of wood. The Chestnut Evo is kind of plasticky. This is not like real wood, I would say, kind of, it comes, it's kind of smelly once you buy it, it smells like wood, 
and perhaps they put some tarnish over it or something so it's kind of smelly once it's out of the box um, but yeah it's quite easy to carry around it's not as as heavy a light size board such as this one is more ideal for anyone on the go so that wraps up this video do like and subscribe I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, take care.